Hey guys, this is Nick at Harrison Consoles, and I'm here today to show you the LTI, the Lemur Touch interface for Harrison Mix Plus. Uh, Lemur is a program developed by Line that allows users to create their own custom projects and templates to control various applications from Ableton Live to FL Studio, and now it can control Harrison Mix Plus with this new application. The controller has four main interfaces, the mixer interface, the session overview interface, the track interface, and the transport interface. First, let's talk about the mixer. The mixer works by what is known as banking. It takes every strip in your session and fits it into an eight fader bank that can be scrolled up and down via these arrows. Each strip in the session gives you the ability to input monitor, disk monitor, enable the recording, and when it's not in input or disk, it shows you that it's an auto monitoring. Then, of course, you have your pan, your mute and solo, and your fader. On the right side here, we have the monitor section to allow you to easily change the monitor. Uh, mono and dim and mute control for that. And then we have the ability to move back and forth to markers. Next, we have the session overview page. Unlike the mixer, it does not use banking and in fact just asks Mixbus for a list of every single strip in your session and allows you to move between them like this. By default, we will support 48 faders in the session, but this can be expanded to fit any arbitrary amount of faders. You can move by line by moving this scroll bar here or you can move by page by pressing the up and down arrows. In addition to that, every strip in the session has mute, solo, record, and a plus or minus 1 dB uh, button. In addition to that, they have their meters, and you can also enable record for everything in the session. Moving back to the mixer for a second, you will notice that these signal scopes here, which give a rudimentary overview of your meter over time, can also be tapped to spill out the contents of its compressor, EQ, and SINs. And this brings us to our next interface, the track interface. We decided to give finer grain control over every strip in the session for people who are walking around recording if they want to change its compressor settings, its EQ, and other various things. And they can also in and out the EQ and compressor at, at will. And in addition to that, we have a redux meter to show you how much gain reduction is going on. The EQ is modeled after Harrison's 32C EQ and works with the 32C version of Mixbus. Here you can change the high frequency and gain and all the other frequencies and gain. You can also A or B the input for the EQ so you can hear what it sounds like before and after. In addition to that, you have your filter controls, and you also have your send controls here. From this page, you can also hit the up or down arrows to move to the next track in the session, and it'll spill out its contents as well. And that brings us to our final interface, the transport interface. The transport interface is aimed at the solo recorder and mixer. This interface gives you access between your most used transport controls such that you don't have to keep getting up and go back to the computer over and over again. We have an endless scroll wheel that actually accelerates over time. In addition to that, we have a finer grain control wheel that allows you to move very gently between those. In the middle, we have our monitor section again, such that you can easily change the monitor. And then below that, we have our section for jumping around. We have our move between markers here. You can go to session start and session end. You can also move forward a grid or back a grid mark. Below that, we have our anchor points for the loop markers. So we can set our loop here and go forward maybe a few grid marks here, and then set our other loop marker. And now when we loop play, we get our loop. In addition to all of that, you can also add markers arbitrarily. 
Below that, we have easily accessible zoom and fit selections. So you can say, I want to fit 16 faders, I want to fit 32 faders, I want to zoom to one minute or five minutes, or I just want to do the easy one and say fit all and zoom to session. The middle section here allows you to change the follow playhead status. So if you wanted to follow the playhead, and then if you don't want it to follow the playhead. Next we have our auto return toggle. And then beside that we have the all important stop and forget for those takes that didn't quite make it. On the right here we have the, another transport section, this time with your master record button, your loop play, and your master record. And then you have your metronome here as well. Last but not least, we have the connections interface. It may not look like much, but this is actually the brains of the entire interface here. You have a heartbeat monitor around your master connect button, uh, the ability to refresh in case things go wrong. And you also have some various options here to control different functionality of the interface. So if you want to say, I want my master and monitor as strips, and I want all the mix buses, even if they're hidden. Now when you go back to the mixer interface, all my buses are here, in addition to the master and monitor. Every changeable parameter in this interface has the ability to be double tapped to reset it to its initial value. Because it uses the existing Lemur application, it works both on iOS and Android and can fit a wide variety of tablets. And because of its robust scripting system, we can make it do very, very cool features. It works great as is, or you can edit it to change your own needs. You can find more information in the description on how to download and install and all the various features that were not covered in this video. Thank you for watching.